Looking back over my career, I've come a long way for someone who didn't quite know where she was going. I was always a goody-goody. I loved to learn and to help others learn. In third grade, my teacher would ask me to sit next to people who were having trouble and work with them. After graduation from high school, I went to Antioch College, a work-study school where I thought I could work my way through. I started out studying science, but was told that I was a people person, so I tried jobs, such as a nurse's aide, too independent, and a boarding school infirmary supervisor. I was not strict enough. Then I took analytical chemistry and messed up a titration. Shit! What a wonderful thing it is to curse. I was hooked on chemistry. It was fun. I really loved working in the lab. It reminded me of the pleasure I had as a child in the kitchen, mixing baking soda and vinegar and understanding how the atoms rearrange themselves to produce carbon dioxide gas. But is that a career? I applied for a Woodrow Wilson Fellowship aimed at encouraging people to go into college teaching. At the interview, I was asked what DNA was. You mean the double helix, I said, while waving my hands in spirals? I had never studied DNA, never had a biology course, but I'd been working in a biochemistry lab, so I got the fellowship. But Brandeis offered me $200 more per year, so I turned down the Wilson Fellowship. Honors? Who cared? Brandeis cared. They made me scramble to get it back. Brandeis did turn out to be a very supportive environment. I met my husband, who was in grad school at Harvard, in my first year there. I was several months pregnant when I defended my PhD thesis. My advisor jokingly mentioned the possibility of an abortion, since it was too late for birth control. My husband has always been enormously supportive of my career. It would never have occurred to him to have a stay-at-home wife, and I can't imagine that I would be a good homemaker. Of course, I had to hire someone to help take care of my household, and I was glad of the support. If I had had to stay home, I would have gone crazy. Now, I have two microwaves, one for each lean cuisine. I was a faculty member at Swarthmore College for 26 years, but I don't think of myself as a master teacher. I think of myself as a master student who loves to learn and loves to help others to learn. With my husband, I've published two biochemistry textbooks that have become standards in the field. We also co-edit the journal Biochemistry and Molecular Biology Education. This coming April, we will be co-recipients of an award for exemplary contributions to education from the American Society for Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. I am just continuing what I started in third grade, and I'm still having fun.